All right, it's the end of the day. Ah, uh, today was one of them days. Wasn't uh, no real sense of urgency to do anything. I'm in one of them weird moods. Kind of hard to find your groove. So this video, this video is going to be all over the place because we woke up this morning, and then I stopped at the rest area. We when we woke up, we had about 160 miles to go to deliver um, our reload canceled so anyway we got another reload out of uh, Oklahoma City or Guthrie Oklahoma which is just north of Oklahoma City going right back over to where we loaded right near where we loaded not the same place but over by the Detroit area but anyway so we left this morning had about 150 160 miles I stopped at the rest area and walked around so you're gonna see a little bit of that today. I uh, I changed the oil in the little generator. So like I said, I was just all over the day today, uh, all over the place. So changed the oil. Um, let's see. Then uh, oh, then I called my coordinator, and she said she was really having a hard time hearing me. So I think my little headset thing broke because this thing spins around now, and. Uh, and this is cracked right here but if you guys go back some of you guys have been watching me from way back I repaired this about a year ago it's this part broke and I took some electrical tape and uh, I put some electrical tape on it so I think it finally quit so but no I called my coordinator and she says I'm having a hard time hearing you and so I turned my headset off and that's what it was was the headset so I went on Facebook and I asked for some recommendations because I really don't know what's a good headset or not. I bought a, a Blue Parrot 350. So apparently there's three. There's a 250, a 350, and a 450. And uh, I looked at the 450, but uh, I don't know, it, it looked too big. And, and somebody made a comment on Facebook that it was a little bulky. But it worked good, it was just a little bulky. And uh, I wanted something that was more along the lines of uh, streamline like this. So anyway, we'll do a quick unboxing video. And Bella, <laughs> hang on a second. Here, Bella, show them your ball. Come here, oh, show them your ball. See ball? See, Bella got her ball. She's been playing with her ball lately, which is good. So. We got, we got Bella from the, the pound or the animal shelter. And we don't think anybody ever played with her. So she doesn't know what toys are. She doesn't know what squeaky toys are or anything. So I bought her a, a ball and a Frisbee just to have in the truck. And uh, she really likes the balls. So uh, anyway, she's having fun. All right, let's go back to here. I told you I was going to be all over the place. So let's see here. We will uh, we'll do an unboxing here if I can do it without cutting my fingers off. So tomorrow we're gonna load. I told him I'd be over there about nine o'clock. It's only supposed to be like three thousand pounds of piece of machinery with a little tiny tarp is what they told me. So that, that's subject to change, but uh, that's what we're doing tomorrow. All right, let's see what we got here. So real quick, let's just look at the size here. Look out! Get over. So, so th this is this is kind of what I was concerned about. Was well, I see. Does it go the other way? There we go. So I like I like it like that. So there we go. So this is what we got. And if you look, it's not too much difference. This is the old one. It's not too much difference on the size. The earpiece is a little bit bigger. This is a Cobra. And I actually bought this one off of Amazon. Because I had one before and it lasted quite a while. So uh, let's do a test of how it fits. So that's not too bad. It doesn't feel too bad. That other one, if, uh, if I leave it on my head too long, 
this part here hurts my head this part right here digs in my head so uh, so anyway that's what we got a blue parrot 350 let's see what else is in here I know this is probably boring unpacking I can always use one of these things let's see here Ooh, ooh! look at this I like that now look how slim line this thing is look at that that's nice that's a USB charger for the cigarette lighter now I like that look how slim line that is that's pretty good huh? That's impressive. I probably won't use it, but I like it. Yeah, let's see, and then here's the cord. Let's see what uh, charging little thing in me jiggy. And see, that's the other thing. That other one had to have its own special cord. This looks like, yeah, this uses the same. This uses the same power cord as my little uh, dash cam. So that's the same. So when I go to charge this up all I got to do is use that power cord because I've already run a line for the power cord so anyway oh and then we got extra little uh, extra little earpiece thing majiggies so what I'll do is I'll get a ziploc bag and I'll put all these extras in the little ziploc bag quick start guide am I boring the hell out of you yet ah Turning on, one touch pairing. Let's do this. Let's just turn it on and see what happens. To get the best performance, charging, hold down until you uh, hear a voice prompt, power on. Oh, maybe it don't come charged. Alright, so I'll put that on the charger figure it out later. I'll give you an update tomorrow morning. Like I said, this video is going to be all over the place. Enjoy it. Uh, hopefully tomorrow we'll be back in the routine. But uh, it's just one of them days. Let's see. So we did the uh, headset. We got the generator. The oil changed. We got unloaded. Uh, what else did we do? Uh, that's it. Oh, walked around the rest area. That was a pretty cool rest area. They got a barbecue pit. You'll see it in the video. Pretty cool looking. Um, and then we're going to load tomorrow and head up to Detroit. So tomorrow will be Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We'll probably be back up in Detroit, Thursday area. Um, uh, Thursday time frame. So um, we're going to be right back where we are. I'd like to get another load of this pipe. This pipe paid pretty good coming down here. So. I'll grab a load of that pipe. All right. I'll give you a headset update later. And uh, talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye. All right. Good morning. We're in uh, the panhandle of Texas on I-40 at a rest area. Had to uh, take Bella out so she could do her business. And then uh, we got about 30 miles to go before we get to where we need to be to unload. So uh, that's a pretty good rest area. Uh, I made a video of the eastbound side uh, a couple weeks ago, but this is the westbound side. I, honestly, the eastbound side's a little bit better than this one, but uh, eh, we'll look around at this one and see what it looks like. All right, here we are at the canopy here. That's interesting. Not too exciting, but more so to look at the view. So that we're, that's looking east. So uh, that's east. So west would be behind us. And they call this the Panhandle because if you uh, look on the map of Texas, this is uh, the the top part of Texas. Looks like a a handle the top little square part of Texas so they call it the panhandle there we go check that out we were just talking about the panhandle so this is Texas this is the state of Texas this right here is what they call the panhandle and I-40 cuts across right there so Oklahoma would be right here New Mexico would be right here so Oklahoma 
Oklahoma comes right here and then there's a little stretch of Oklahoma that goes across the top but the I-40 comes right here so that's why they call it the panhandle so that's pretty cool looking little grill barbecue grill like that so then uh, Houston would be right down here Dallas Fort Worth is right in this area right here sorry about that Bella is uh, pulling on me but, uh, so that's pretty cool looking all right let's let's take a look at the building Come on, Bell. Let's go. Let's walk over here this way. All right, we're in front of the uh, rest area now. They got a uh, lookout place up on the top up there, but it says no pets. So, all right, we gotta get going anyway. I still got about 30 minutes of driving to get unloaded. We don't have a reload yet, so I'm not too sure what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, but we're probably gonna head over towards uh, Oklahoma City, so. All right, let's get back in the truck, get going. Talk to you in a bit. We got a reload out of, right out of Oklahoma City, going up back up to Detroit. Uh, picks up tomorrow. So uh, we got a little bit of dead time right now. Uh, I need to change the oil in the generator, and uh, I can do it without making a mess. It's kind of quiet right here, so we're going to change the oil right here, and then um, we're going to go down to, there's a truck wash in Sayer, a self-serve truck wash. We're going to go down there, and then we'll wash the little generator and, uh, and clean it up. So, uh, so anyway, since we got a little dead time, let's go ahead and do that. All right, we're all set up. Um, I wanted to show you guys, for the guys that have watched me for a while, you remember that bracket that broke on the generator? Well, the other one that I got broke again. So I had to fabricate that bracket the last time I was home. So it wasn't too hard. It's just a piece of angle iron where I had to line up the bolts, get the holes just right. So uh, um, we're gonna change the oil. The oil filter is, I don't know if you guys can see it in there or not. It's right in there. We gotta take this off. Um, we're gonna change the fuel filter um, and then once we're all done we're gonna go to that truck wash and uh, wash the little generator and clean it up so the way I do it is I get an old one gallon jug because it it holds just a little less than a gallon of oil and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a hole in the top of this jug and I let the oil drain down in here and then I have another empty jug which is gonna be this one once we use a little bit of oil that's left in there. So, and then we'll put the used oil in here. And then when I get to uh, Speedco or Petro or somebody, usually I just take the used oil in there and they'll let me dump it right in their thing. So, um, here's the fuel filter right there. And what I use is uh, I just use the diesel treatment and trying to, trying to mess with the diesel. I fill the little filter up with uh, the treatment there. Uh, bought that at Walmart, the uh, oil filter. And then uh, I go ahead and I use a whole quart of, uh, of uh, the Lucas in there. And uh, with the Lucas, it'll take just a little less than a gallon of oil in the, in the little generator. So, all right, let me go ahead and get the air filter off. Um, once I get the air filter off, the only tools we'll need is this uh, Allen wrench. And all I do is I take the end of a screwdriver and I put it down inside the Allen wrench. Uh, we need a big pair of pliers to get the uh, fuel filters off. And uh, then we'll, uh, we'll knock it out here. So, uh, all right, let me, uh, let me get the air filter off and uh, talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got the uh, air filter out of the way. That way we can get down to the uh, the oil filter, which is right in there. And then uh, I went ahead. So what I did is I cut, I cut the side out of a, a gallon jug. I let the oil drain down into here. That's just water in there. Uh, I let the oil drain down into here, and then I just undo that cap and let it, uh, and then pour it into, that one's gonna be empty and then we'll pour it into that that jug right there so um all right let me go ahead and get set up all right so we got the oil drained it's in the, the little bucket little pan right there we got the oil filter the old oil filter off it's 
It's right there. We're getting ready to put the new one on. So we'll go ahead and get that ready. We're ready for oil now. We're going to uh, put the uh, thing of Lucas in first. And I've used Lucas in here just like I used Lucas in the, the big truck. I use the Lucas oil in the little generator too. Seems to help. Got 25,000 hours on the little generator. So we'll let that drain in there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to cut the top off of this or the bottom off of this and then use this as a filter uh, funnel to pour the oil in. So we'll give that a couple minutes to drain out. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut, if I don't cut my arm off, we're going to cut the top bottom off of this right here. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. I was here there's a big old storm cloud look look over that way you see that big storm cloud over there I don't know if it's heading this way or not we're almost done though we're almost done all right little generators done um, just gonna clean up my mess Bella's patiently sitting up in the truck there she is what's she doing Bell I'm almost done all right, I will see you guys when we get over to the truck wash.